I am Emily coming at you from E3 Training Studio in Saratoga with another body weight workout you can do at home. This one, the only piece of equipment you're gonna need are socks. Um, mine are covered in dog hair, so yours are too, that's fine. <laughs> you're also gonna need a wood floor though. So if you guys are working with carpeted floors or floors that are not so slippery, you can take um, a towel and put them under your feet to kind of uh, use as a substitute for a sock. But if you've got wood floors and you've got socks on your feet, you don't need those. Um, but yeah, you just need a piece of fabric that you can slip and slide on. All right, so first exercise we're gonna do is um, a version of a pipe. So basically, usually we do pipes with our feet in tier rep straps or with our feet in um, on top of uh, stability balls and such. For this, you're just gonna get your feet on the ground. You're gonna go full plank position and we're gonna crunch our core in together as we're pulling our feet in, stacking all of our weight over our shoulders. And then without picking those feet up off the ground, we're gonna slide back into plank position. So exhale, crunch in, stack, inhale, go back, exhale, in, go back, all right? You're gonna feel the burn for that one real quick. Second movement we're gonna do um, is gonna be a push up, but the trick to this is as we're going down, our feet are gonna slide laterally. So what we're gonna do here is coming down, feet slide out, coming up, feet slide in. Inhale down, exhale up. As those feet come out, it's a, um, you guys are going to be paying a little bit of extra attention to making sure that um, you're not letting that lower back take all the attention, you're not letting those hips sag. Um, if you guys find that your form is failing, as always, just like with a normal push-up, you're gonna be regressing to those knees, making sure that above all, we're protecting that lower back, we're not winging those arms, um, yeah, we're just kind of protecting everything, protecting those shoulders, all right? So, third movement here, we've got a burpee. Um, but what we're gonna do here is, instead of jumping those feet in and out like we normally would for a burpee, we're gonna slide, so adding a little bit of extra core. So jumping at the top, just like normal. Now, instead of um, jumping my feet back, I'm gonna slide them back, I'm gonna slide them in. So a very similar burn to that pike that we did earlier, adding onto it, sliding in. If you guys aren't wiped out from the push-ups that you just did prior, feel free to add a couple more push-ups or peel yourself up off the ground. All right, so another version, if you wanna make that a little bit harder, is we're sliding those feet all the way back, peeling up and sliding those feet in. Um, so definitely an option there. From there, we're gonna go right into a little bit of lower body. We're gonna go reverse lunges, except instead of stepping back, we're gonna slide back. So we're gonna slide back until that back knee is dropping towards the ground. This knee is gonna be in line with that front foot. Eyes are straight ahead, chest is straight ahead. I'm gonna drive through this hamstring, this heel, this glute, bringing this leg back in. And the trick to this one is that you wanna load up all your reps on one side. So feeling that burn real quick. And then once you finish all your reps on one side, you'll go into the other. All right, we're gonna go right into now a lateral movement. So you guys are gonna go lateral lunges. Instead of stepping out into a lateral lunge like you normally would, you're gonna squat down into your working leg and you're gonna push that guiding leg out to the side, just like with the other lunge. You guys are keeping your eyes straight ahead, your chest tracking forward, and we're keeping this knee in line with this foot, pushing through the heel, pushing through the hamstring, pushing through the glute to come back to top, all right? so. We've got pikes, we've got push-ups with a slide out, we've got burpees, sliding those feet and sliding those feet in. We've got reverse lunge slides and we've got lateral lunge slides. So you've got a bit of core, you got a bit of upper body, you got a bit of lower body. You're gonna have some fun sliding. If your kids are with you, tell them to put some socks on too and do the same thing. If your dogs are with you, yell at them for getting the hair on your socks, but you know, have fun with it.